Today, we are going to look how you can stop Chrome from nagging you to create a passkey when you go to certain websites. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we are going to show you how you can stop Google Chrome from nagging you to create a passkey when you go to certain websites. Now, first of all, what is a passkey? Well, a passkey is a modern password free way to sign into your accounts that's designed to be faster, easier and much more secure than traditional passwords. It works by using half of your device. It uses a digital credential which is stored securely on your phone, your computer, or a security key, and it's based on a public key cryptography. Your account gets a public key while the device gets a private key. And to log on, you have to provide the private key by unlocking your device with biometrics such as face, fingerprint, or a pin. No password is required to remember. So why would you want to block pass keys? Well, simply because what happens if your device that you've put your pass key on breaks? So like I say, you need the public key and the private key. Now, the part of the, the private key is stored on your device, your phone, your tablet, your desktop computer, your laptop and can only be opened by that. So what happens if that gets stolen? What happens if it gets lost or it goes wrong? Well, I know that today's digital companies that require these pass keys are just of no help when things go wrong. I've heard this on loads of occasions where people have perhaps, for instance, lost their device or their device has broken and their Google account is protected with a pass key. Now, I know that you can get in at the moment using a password, but that facility is likely to be removed because it kind of defeats the whole object of having a pass key if you can still get in via a backdoor via a password, because that's what a hacker is going to go for, isn't it? A hacker is going to try and get in through that backdoor using your password and they're going to be able to do it. But this person here says, I'm trying to log in my to my security settings on my Google account. I have the password that works and it lets me log in, but I can't change the settings without the pass key. They're asking that a pass key on a device, an iPod, but I don't have any more. I can't log in without the pass key. When I try more ways to verify, there's nothing and it still asks for the pass key. I have the password that works and lets me log in, but I can't change the settings without the pass key and no one can seem to help. There's other examples here, for instance, there's I've got I can't log in because I don't have a pass key or recovery codes locked out of account. This is a dire situation as I never created a passkey or received recovery codes. And now I cannot log into my website. I've tried reaching out many times. There's no help. As of now, my entire website is inactive because of this. Please help. So as I say, this person, for instance, they've obviously have created a passkey, but they've been unaware that they've created the passkey, possibly because this setting in Google Chrome or on their device has been switched on on and it's automatically created them a passkey when they've logged in at one point using their password. This person here says, I'm trying to log in to Gmail, but I've been stopped by a Windows security prompt that is demanding I provide a passkey to log on to that online account. But I don't have a passkey for that account. I've never set up a passkey. How do I get Windows to get out of my way and just let me provide my password as I always have? At no point in time did I opt in using in passkey. Why is this being pushed when it's utterly broken? Well, as again, as I say, again, obviously his device at some point has automatically set up a passkey for him. So, or her. So anyway, how do you stop your computer for, from creating a passkey or Google from creating a passkey? Well, go into Google Chrome and then once you're in Google Chrome, click on the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen. Then then go down to passwords and autofill, then go across to the right to Google password manager, left click once. Then once you're in here, move your mouse over settings just over there on the left and again, left click once. 
and there is an option here as you can see second one down automatically create a pass key to sign in faster allow sites and apps to upgrade existing accounts to use pass keys now if you want to turn this off then just turn that little switch off there so it goes gray and there you go that will stop you in future from being unaware of Google Chrome upgrading your password or downgrading it, whichever way you see it, to a pass key. Now, sure enough, yeah, pass keys are much more secure to keep hackers out. But at the end of the day, if these big corps that require us to use pass keys aren't going to give us the support we need to get back into our accounts when problems happen, then what's the point in using them? You're more than likely going to end up locking yourself inadvertently out of your account one day if you you haven't got a device now to, to, to unlock the key. Now, I would say if you are going to use pass keys, then first things first, have a look and see when you create the pass key, whether or not the site allows you to generate backup codes. Now, these are codes that you can print off, store somewhere safe that will allow you back into your account without a pass key. Obviously, another thing to do is to make sure that you put your pass key on more than one device. Make sure you've put it on at least three devices, perhaps put it on your computer, your phone, your tablet. If you've got an old phone or an old tablet, put it on there too, just so that if anything should go wrong with your device you normally use, you do have a backup device that you can use to get back into your account, like I say, if problems should happen. Also, do make sure that you still keep a copy of your password again because in some circumstances this can still help you get back into your account. Also make sure that the company that you're dealing with has the most up-to-date contact details for you. Make sure that they have got an up-to-date email address to contact you on. Make sure that they've got a mo um, the most up-to-date phone number for you. Please make sure that that is a mobile number if possible because many Many, many services now won't phone you on a landline, so do make sure that's a mobile number. And also, if you can give more than one email address or more than one mobile number, then please do that. I know Microsoft allow you to give various email addresses for security and various mobile numbers. This would help if, say, for instance, if your phone gets blocked or lost or stolen or you change your number and you forget to update that number with the company. Use a friend, use a relative's number as an alternative. Make sure it's a trusted friend and a trusted relative. But none the same, make sure that you've got more than one number in your account if it lets you. So as I say, to recap, if you are going to use pass keys, first of all, make sure that you've got backup codes printed off if they allow that. Make sure that you've still got your original password. Make sure that your pass key is set up on more than one device. I would say if you can, make sure at least three devices and make sure that any contact details that company have for you, such as email address, telephone number, and even postal address, make sure that they are up to date with that company. So if the worst should happen, they can contact you via another means, either by telephone, email, or in some cases, even send you a letter. And if you do decide later on, you want Google Chrome to automatically create pass keys, then you can just turn that option back on. So I'll just go over it again, how I got there. Go into Google Chrome, click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, click on passwords and autofill, and then click on Google Password Manager. Click on settings just over there on the left, and then you can either turn off this automatically create a pass key to sign in faster if you don't want it to do that, or you can turn it back on if you decide you do want to use pass keys and have Google Chrome generate pass keys when you log on to a site that allows pass keys.